Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by MyPillow. Get two premium pillows for the price of one by using the promo code WEIRD when you visit MyPillow.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Yet another reason to skip the drive through A recent study shows that the more fast food you suck down, the higher your depression risk. Researchers think the processed menu items lack nutrients that boost mood, such as good fat and complex carbs. Really? Well, if that's true, then why do I feel so giddy when ordering a triple cheeseburger combo? The Star Wars spin-off movies have been put on hold after the Han Solo debacle at the box office. Meanwhile, Indiana Jones is getting a fifth movie. Yeah, I, I don't understand Hollywood either. A Washington state woman pled guilty to embezzling nearly $300,000 from Costco. The case raises so many questions, not the least of which is why did a person with $300,000 keep working at Costco? The founder of JetBlue has gotten funding for a new low-cost U.S. airline. It'll save you a ton of money on travel expenses so long as you don't find things like having a seat to sit in important. Sad news for you, Gary. You're probably the last of a long line of men named Gary. The name is going extinct. It's been plummeting in popularity since the early 1950s, where America saw nearly 39,000 baby Garys. That's compared to 2013 with only 442 Garys, the lowest since 1928. And it continues to decline. The name is now ranked number 578 in America. I blame Gary Busey. Jaya Miner was the name of a new hotspot restaurant in Chengdu, China, but it wasn't doing so well. In hopes of drawing in and keeping new customers, the owners decided to try a month-long all-you-can-eat promotion, and it was very successful. So successful, it ran the place out of business in under two weeks. On June 1st, patrons were offered the chance to fill their bellies for just 120 yen, or $19 per day, for a whole month. The two owners had anticipated that they would suffer a financial loss during this period, but they hoped that the promotion would pay off in the long run, with some visitors becoming loyal customers. They could not have been more wrong. They soon found themselves serving 500 customers per day, with many lining up at the door several hours before the restaurant opened and refusing to leave the restaurant until midnight at closing. Man, 19 bucks for all the food I want! I could stay there all day without being kicked out, free restrooms and Wi-Fi, heck, I'd probably change my mailing address to the restaurant and just live there. A new study says that being married in your elderly years may help ward off heart disease and stroke. Hey, you hear that? Yeah, yeah I may be a lazy fat slob, but well, you can't ever leave me because I'm saving your life! Seattle is banning all plastic straws as of July 1st. While most of the residents there drink coffee, the three soda drinkers are said to be very upset. The World Health Organization now says that gaming addiction is considered a mental health disorder. Don't I know it! Last weekend, my nephew forced me to play five hours of non-stop Candyland. According to a Gallup poll, 46 percent of Americans believe in creationism as found in the Bible. 32 percent believe in theistic evolution – that is, God directing creation over millions of years using evolution – and 15 percent believe in evolution without any divine intervention. The statistics seem to mirror opinions from three decades ago, meaning we've not really changed our minds one way or the other on this matter. Except for Scientologists, who apparently feel that they were never created but planted next to volcanoes. No joke. Google is working on machines that will predict when a patient will die. Until then, though, they're just going to use that death clock website. The study says millennials are moving out of their parents' basements, most of them waiting until the garage is completely refurbished. A new study claims that when it comes to tipping, millennials are the worst, and when it comes to cow tipping, Generation X is the best. Popeye might want to consider switching to broccoli. British scientists unveiled a new breed of the vegetable that experts say packs a big nutritional punch. The new broccoli was specially grown, and it contains two or three times the normal amount of a nutrient believed to help ward off heart disease. 
Vegetables are a medicine cabinet already, said Richard Mythen, who led the team of scientists at the Institute for Food Research in Norwich, England, that developed the new broccoli. When you eat this broccoli, he says, you get a reduction in cholesterol in your bloodstream. Okay, yeah, maybe so, but the bad news is you're still eating broccoli. A report says a third of kids under the age of 19 are taking some kind of dietary supplement. Does anybody else find it strange that there are so many people on dietary supplements and yet we all look like we need to be on diets? Doesn't that mean the dietary supplements don't work? Coco the gorilla, who mastered sign language, died in her sleep at the Foundation's Preserve in California's Santa Cruz Mountains last Tuesday. She was 46. She had no last words. In Southampton, England, 24-year-old Matthew Curley has been legally banned from contacting his parents for five years after they got so fed up with his constant pestering for money that they got a restraining order against him. Curley was also jailed for 32 weeks on charges of harassment but continued to contact his mother and father after that despite the restraining order preventing him from doing so. For example, last month he called his parents for money over 30 times in just 24 hours, with some of the calls being made in the middle of the night. Despite their son's breach of his restraining order, Curley's parents had apparently given him money only to hear from him again and again sometimes lying about his reason for the demand. This bizarre story is somewhat reminiscent of that of the 30-year-old Michael Rotondo, whose parents recently sued him for refusing to move out of their house. If you want to know why people disrespect millennials, there you go. A new study says mosquitoes remember people who swatted them. Now you know why they keep coming back to annoy you. Those bloodsuckers are out for revenge. Blink-182 drummer Travis Barker reported last week on social media that he regretfully would have to bow out of playing drums for some time due to a serious bout with blood clots in both of his arms and an infection. Wow, you know, suddenly my carpal tunnel sounds kind of wimpish. The movie Billionaire Boys Club is going to hit theaters. What makes it interesting is that the movie stars Kevin Spacey. Awkward. According to a study by Salary.com, if a full-time stay-at-home mom were paid market wages for all her work, she would earn over $134,000 a year, comparable to a judge or a top advertising executive. To reach that figure, they calculated the earning power of the 10 jobs mom said most closely describe what they do – housekeeper, daycare teacher, cook, computer operator, facilities manager, van driver, janitor, chief executive, psychologist, and laundry machine operator. Oh, well, laundry machine operator? Boy, that, that had to bring down the average salary. I've seen people at the laundromat that can't figure out why their quarters keep disappearing in the slots. A new study says that four out of every ten people have deleted a social media account over the past year out of privacy concerns. The remaining 6 out of 10 would probably do the same, but online friends are the only friends they have. A Council of Scientists is calling for a system to better detect dangerous incoming asteroids. In other words, they know something that they're not telling us. No? Oh, well, then how do you interpret that? Starting this fall, some students at Northeastern University in Boston will be given the option of getting an Echo Dot smart speaker linked to their university accounts. And that sounds like a really cool idea until you realize the students are going to be in packed dorm rooms with several people living all close together and speaking loud enough for all of the Amazon Echoes to hear all at once, Alexa, order me a case of beer. Burger King has apologized for an ad that promised Russian women a lifetime supply of free meals and a cash prize if they were to become pregnant with a child fathered by a World Cup soccer player. You could say that was a whopper of a failed promotional idea. Researchers at Cambridge University may have discovered the secret to happiness, at least for men. Do more chores. Men from seven European countries were found to have an improved sense of well-being and work-life balance as well as less work-life conflict if they helped more around the house. This story is sponsored by Modern Woman magazine. After canceling the comedy show following star Roseanne Barr's racist tweet, 
ABC has found a way to move forward with the original cast, creators, and likely crew as The Connors. Although personally, I would have named the show Roseanneless. Two newlyweds in Munich, Germany spent their wedding night in separate drunk tanks after celebrating a bit too hard. Police found the happy couple staggering home and almost falling into the street after their wedding reception. They escorted the newlyweds home, put them in custody overnight to sober up after they insisted on going out again to get more drinks. To love and to cherish, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, in drunkenness or sobriety until jail do us part. Over 65% of women feel that flowers are the most romantic gift to receive, but almost 38% of men have not given them to their significant other in over a year. A Woman's Day AOL survey also found that 64% of women would rather be with a man who is poor and attractive than rich and unattractive. Okay, um, how about poor and unattractive? Is there anybody interested in that? I'm, I'm asking for a friend. A new musical on the life of Michael Jackson is going to hit Broadway in 2020. Critics are already saying it's bad. A new study says that CEOs average 9.7 hours a day and 62.5 hours a week on the job. And C-3PO's never sleep. Starbucks says they're going to be closing 150 stores. Well, then where am I supposed to hang out all day and use a free restroom? Uh, never mind, I see there's another Starbucks right there across the street. This episode of Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by MyPillow. They asked me to try one out to let them know what I thought about it, and I loved it. I tell you, this has really changed the way that I sleep. No more folding the pillow in half, no more flat, lifeless pillows, no more using two pillows to get comfortable. In fact, you need a my pillow of your own. It stays cool all night long, it keeps its shape, it comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee with a 10-year warranty. And when it gets dirty, you can just toss it into your washer and dryer and it comes out like new, something you can't do with your current pillow. And right now, you can get two premium my pillows for one low price. Just go to MyPillow.com and then enter promo code WEIRD. That's MyPillow.com, then use the promo code WEIRD or call 800-945-7192. That's 800-945-7192 or visit MyPillow.com and use that promo code WEIRD. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!